I, I don't think anything really embraces what Texas is about more than a good state. Great time. Uh, everybody should come to this. Uh, lots of stuff for the kids. Lots of vendors. Really good time. Town of Hyco. Um, only thing I regret moving here is I didn't do it earlier. Uh, that's how much I love this town and the people in it. Everybody's so friendly and if you need something, there's always someone there to help you. Next on Berenger Ingelheim's The American Rancher, it's the Texas State Cook-Off in Heiko. Welcome to the American Rancher, brought to you by Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated. I'm Pam Minnick, and this week we're taking you on the road to the community of Heiko, Texas, for a great festival with all the charm of the Lone Star State. Held in late spring, the Texas State Cook-Off drew more than 90 entries this year as teams and individuals took their best shot at swaying a panel of judges with their best recipes and methods for cooking that great ribeye steak. We'll take you there, show you how it all went down, and meet some of the people who were part of it. We're glad you joined us. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hope it's a winner. <laughs> the American Rancher, presented by Barringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated, makers of Express and Express FP vaccines to defend your calves against respiratory disease. The American Rancher is also brought to you by Land Lakes Purina Feed. Building better cattle with AccuRation, Wind and Rain, Rangeland, and Steak Maker Feeds. And by Star Lake Cattle Ranch, recognized as a premier Hereford breeder. StarlakeHerefords.com Welcome back to the American Rancher. The state of Texas and cooking steaks are two things that are tied together with a fairly short rope. The Texas State Cook-Off in Heiko draws all types of people who gather for a fun weekend that's attended by thousands. This is my second year to chair it and um, it's just a great, enjoyable event. It's great for our city and town. Uh, we have a lot of people out here just having a good time and uh, that's basically what all it's about. I don't think this will stop anytime soon. Uh, it seems to be getting a lot, a lot larger each year. Uh, it started out really small. This obviously probably is the biggest one so far. Heiko, Texas is located in Hamilton County in central Texas, about an hour west of Waco and southwest of Fort Worth, some 80 miles. The population is just over 1,300. Heiko was incorporated in 1883 when the Texas Central Railroad was built nearby. The town became the Hamilton County Shipping Center. Over the years, it became a cattle and cotton market. Today, ranching and tourism dominate. Heiko maintains a small Billy the Kid Museum and once had a resident living under an alias who claimed that he was William H. Bonney, the infamous gunslinger. Television series and documentaries have been produced on this subject and have brought the community publicity. Heiko is a community with great people and a great storefront area that is perfect for the hosting of the Texas State Cook-Off. There are a handful of charming businesses, restaurants, and historic monuments about town. This is our second year to ever do anything like this. Uh, the first thing we did was we did this last year and we decided to come back again. We had a good time. Haley and uh, all the folks all right. who run this have been real helpful, real nice. We've got a great spot, so it worked out real good. We've got a mustard based rub. It's a half mustard, half brown sugar, and then you take some whole rosemary, sprig it, and then some sage leaves. 
and you just smother that all over the steak. And the idea is to get a good hot fire, so you get a good sear, so you put that on, that makes a nice little crust around your steak, helps hold that moisture in. We, uh, we did two steaks earlier, one to turn in and uh, one to try, and the one that we tried turned out excellent. So it turned out to be real good beef. This is absolutely great. You've got plenty of shopping, plenty of vendors on the street. I mean, it, it's just great. We've had beautiful weather, awesome people who live around here. They've been real welcoming. They've been real, real helpful to us. We'll definitely be back next year, and uh, hopefully we'll get lucky and get right back here again. This is, a, this is a great spot. We're on a good corner, and we're having a ton of fun. Former Dallas Cowboy fullback Walt Garrison was in attendance and had the opportunity to display his Cowboys Cowboy barbecue rub and other products, as well as chat with visitors. First time I've been to the to the steak cook-off uh, here in Ico. We come every year to the six-man Super Saturday down here in Ico. This is the first time uh, I've been to the steak cook-off. We have a uh, dry rub, and we've got a salsa. We've got a dipping sauce that's not out yet. The, the rub, I tell you what, I put it on scrambled eggs. I put it on everything. So we came out here because I don't know how many people they get here. And, uh, so it's a good way to introduce a product. I tell you what, Heiko is one of the neatest towns I go to. I came here years ago, just coming through here, and then we started doing, like I said, about nine years ago, we started doing the Six Man Super Saturday. So uh, I've come every year for the last nine years, and now I'm going to come back to this, because this, this is really great, man. When many cooks gather and the menu is steak, there is only a general consensus as to how one goes about preparing it. Some cooks use a real hot fire and time it quickly on each side, while others prefer a slower method of cooking. Teams including the steak wranglers, the grill billies, and the miss steaks all had different approaches. Oh, you know, you just want a little tenderizer, salt, pepper, a little Worcestershire sauce, I put a little soy on there. I actually poke the hole in the steak. A lot of people don't do that, but I do. Olive oil. Basically on the ribeye, what you want to do is keep it simple. Don't do too much to it. Just the flavor of the beef will do, do the work for you. And to really make it taste good, when nobody's watching, if you throw it on the concrete here, you get all them little specks on it, and pick it up, throw it on the grill, oh man, it turns out great. Don't turn that in. Now right now, before I even cook these, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cook that, turn that steak right there in. It, it just looks a little better. We've been doing this for, uh, this is my fourth year, and we get more joy out of feeding the crowd and them coming back and saying, hey, this is pretty good stuff. That's, right. That's a lot of fun. What's in your spark? It is Coca-Cola and beef broth. Beef broth for a little flavor, and Coca-Cola breaks the muscle down a little bit, breaks the meat down a little bit. Oh, we can't talk about the recipe now. <laughs> a lot of love and a lot of fun. That's what it is. Our test steak that we tested out, the one we didn't turn in, we thought was real good. Uh, we're working on about five minutes a side on each side and then pull it off to the side to let it finish cooking under a little warmer temp, a little cooler temperature. We do is what, sear for two minutes. Two minutes? About two minutes. And then about uh, three minutes, 45 seconds. We'll turn, it over. we'll turn it over after two minutes and let it sit. You like your chances? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Kibo right. means beer in Czech. So it's beer depth. Beer, beer, yeah, yeah, we yeah. got a Mexican and a bunch of Czech people, so. <laughs> Rogers. Went to high school in Rogers together. Some of us from Houston, so we've been, this is our third year here. Hot hot as hot as you can get it. Hot as you can get it. Yeah, and as fast as you can cook it. About four minutes on the first side, and about three, three and a half on the other side. All steaks were supplied by Nolan Ryan Guaranteed Tender Beef through the sponsorship of the local Super S Grocery of Heiko. Charles Bradbury, CEO of Nolan Ryan Beef, was on hand and contributing cooking efforts to the great food at the event. We're the official beef of the Texas Rangers, and basically if you eat something with beef in it there, you're eating Nolan Ryan Beef. They approached us, asked us if we'd supply the beef for the event. That way all the chefs here are cooking the same beef. You know, we, a lot of our program is trying to develop a real consistent product. We use a real science-based approach to do that. We're taking advantage of that to make sure everybody was kind of cooking with the same level product. They've been real pleased with it, and they asked us to participate. We, we, we don't normally do a lot of that, but we did put a steak in there, and we made it in the top 30.
And we have a Nolan Ryan steak seasoning that we sell in the stores, and basically all we did was pick out a good steak that we thought would work and put seasoning on it and cooked it. So uh, that's the nice thing about steak. It's, it's not real hard. You just got to let it do the job, and you can have a good eating experience. It, they can kind of control where everybody is, and it's not too far away, and they just shut down the whole downtown area, and it's really worked good. Uh, I think people here are enjoying it, and, man, you can sure get a lot to eat here. <laughs>
cook another steak and it will be judged again and we'll narrow it down to the top 10. So it's a lot of preparation, but it's a lot of fun too. In a large tent, somewhat away from the packed crowd that enjoyed the festive streets, a VIP dinner was prepared for guests by a VIP guest chef. I'm the executive director for the HACO Economic Development Corporation. I'm part of the cook-off committee. I also are sponsoring the VIP dinner, which we're in the tent right now, setting up for. It uh, keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Last year we had 83 backyard chefs. This year we ended up with 103. We had to turn people down. We opened up the entry forms first part of January each year. This year we pretty well sold out by, Jan by the third week in January. So I encourage anybody from a backyard chef perspective, if you want to enter in this event, get your entry form in early. It's all, it'll always be on the city website as to when the, we the state cook-off website's going to be. Uh, it brings a lot of people to town. We have put up all the cookers downtown. Uh, our only issue is we're about to run out of downtown because we're getting so many cookers. Our town needs to grow more. But Haiko is a great city. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers from our school to help. The volunteer fire department. We get our churches involved. So it really truly is a community event. It brings the whole town together. So certainly it is for fun. It's for bragging rights as to who gets the best chef. What we usually do, we do donate uh, scholarship money to our schools to help to help them out. Also, the money is used toward promoting economic development in the city of Haiko. Try to encourage businesses to flourish here in Haiko. We've got a wonderful chef uh, named Brian Lusher. He's from The Grape down on Lower Greenville. Uh, he participated last year. A couple of years ago, he won the Celebrity Chef that contest we had here. And he has to come down, and he's been a blessing to us, and he loves to come to Haiko. I've been a part of this event for about four or five years now. Uh, I competed at the Celebrity Chef Division and won at one time. And um, I've been doing the VIP dinner that we're setting up for uh, for a couple, few years now. And uh, I just love the city of Haiko, the community and the folks that are down here cooking, just the different crew. You know, everybody's their own crew, but not a single one of them wouldn't uh, stop to help out another crew if they needed something. Lo loan them a pair of tongs or a, a light or whatever they need. You know, so there, there is a brotherhood about it, but there's also a real, uh, you know, uh, gentlemanly competition. You know, they're all pretty... Uh, ingenious folks and you know just the, all the different grills that you see and the trailers and the rigs and they're proud about making their own and so being inventive where i grew up in the midwest my father was a union meat cutter so we we ate a lot of beef uh, so i've kind of been around it and now down here in texas uh, i've competed a couple times i won the best of beef contest in dallas a couple years um and there's nothing like beef I mean, there's nothing that satisfies, for me, like a steak or beef, you know, people really like that, and uh, and it's a testament to it right here, because every single person here, they're all, the, the big serious competition is the, is the steak cook-off. Inspired by the bistros and wine bars of New York City and Europe, The Grape was the first restaurant in Dallas to offer a blackboard menu, as well as one of the first to offer wines by the glass. The Grape has stayed true to its roots for over 35 years, offering quality food and wine at affordable prices, and the tradition continues. In 2007, the Greenville Avenue Institution was acquired by chef owner Brian Lusher and his wife and general manager, Courtney. The Lushers purchased the Grape from the original owners and have given the restaurant a small facelift for the 21st century still keeping the history and charm intact. The Grape Restaurants on Lower Greenville has been there since 1972. I worked for the original owners for about five years and uh, came back and was looking to open up. I left for a few years and I was looking for a, a place to open up my own restaurant. And that's when the, the gals who'd owned the restaurant for 35 years at the time uh, said, we heard you're really serious. And if you're that serious, we'd, we'd, we'd consider selling the, rest the restaurant to you and retiring. And uh, that's been three years now. And uh, I couldn't be happier. It's the hardest work, you know, owning your own business is the hardest work you've ever done. But uh, there's nothing more satisfying. When we cut all our own steaks and fish and, and, and uh, always just a unique twist. But uh, the center of the plate or the, the protein said so that it's always very approachable and, and you know, understandable. Uh, we've got over 200 wines by the bottle. And my wife, she runs the wine program in the front of the house. So it's definitely a family affair. Some folks call uh, The Grape the most romantic restaurant in Dallas. I'm going to keep doing this event as long as they keep asking me back. I want to earn the key to the city of Heiko. Uh, I just really adore this town and uh, think the world of it and, and, and the folks that live here. And I want to do whatever I can and lend my expertise to their success. The 
this year we actually decided to take on about 100 chefs. Everyone's been really pleased. We changed our meat this year to null and rotten beef. Um, everybody was really pleased with that. Um, we did a couple rounds and we got our winners. We're just waiting for them to be announced at this point. About mid-afternoon, a strong rain parked itself over the Texas State Cook-Off, threatening festivities. After half an hour, the showers lifted and the cooking went on as very few people left. No, rain doesn't bother these people. These are serious cookers. We have people, this is our eighth year and been here every year. Sponsoring this year, we, of course, we have Null and Ryan Beef. Um, they sell here at our local grocery store, Super S. We have Bluebell Ice Cream, Dublin Dr. Pepper, and of course a lot of our local businesses sponsor, as well as we have a lot of locals that volunteer and help put this event on. We've got about 1,300 people. They are wonderful. Um, I moved in here, and this is a great place to raise your kids. Everyone's friendly. You know everyone. You know, you kind of get to, they grow up and they stay, and it's just awesome. The winners of the Texas State Cook-Off were as follows. In Backyard Chef, first, JB Cooking Team from Coleman, Texas. Second, Pica Piedras from Coleman, Texas. They were last year's winner. And third, Mistakes from Richardson, Texas. In the hors d'oeuvres category, first went to Steak Medics of Wolforth, Texas. Second to the Wranglers from here in Heiko. And third to Lone Star Cookers of White Settlement, Texas. The wine tasting winners were Bluffdale Vineyards of Bluffdale, Texas. Congratulations to Heiko, Texas and all the good folks of that community, as well as the sponsors and contestants of the Texas State Cook-Off. It was a super event. Delicious, I might add. If you haven't ever attended, make plans to do so in the future. We invite you to visit us on the web at theamericanrancher.com and don't forget our Facebook page too. I'm Pam Minnick. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, I'll see you later. The American Rancher, presented by Behringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated, makers of Express and Express FP vaccines to defend your calves against respiratory disease. The American Rancher is also brought to you by Land Lakes Purina Feed, building better cattle with AccuRation, Wind and Rain, Rangeland, and Steak Maker Feeds. And by Star Lake Cattle Ranch, recognized as a premier Hereford breeder. StarlakeHerefords.com.